Crew members who were removed from the Ruby Princess cruise ship have now arrived back in their homelands and they've been forced to self-isolate again after already spending weeks in quarantine here. Now the ship is gone, legal experts are raising doubts about how effective the criminal investigation will be. Here's crime reporter Mark Reddy. A floating nightmare slowly fades into the horizon. I am relieved to see it go. Relief felt among some crew on board, with the Ruby Princess expected to arrive in the Philippines in a couple of weeks. For those who flew home, it was back to self-isolation, but with loved ones close by. When I got off, I, I actually cried. Given 21 deaths were linked to the ship, Byron Sadani was shocked when he finally landed in Rome, in a country with one of the highest death tolls from coronavirus. Coming from the Ruby Princess, I didn't get any checks, I mean, temperature checks when I landed in Italy, and this is uh, quite strange, isn't it? With the ship gone, the police commissioner admits the criminal investigation has become a whole lot harder. If anyone on board is found to be negligent, bringing them back to Sydney may be out of the question. Much will depend on the cooperation of Carnival as well as the extradition treaties that are in place between Australia and the relevant countries. Obviously there's no guarantee that we got every piece of evidence off. And today, help for some passengers recovering from COVID-19. We wish to clarify with this letter that we are providing a full 100% refund of the base cruise fare you paid in recognition of the effect COVID-19 has had on the community. Tonight, the ship remains in Australian waters, edging towards the Queensland coast. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.